Hello, my name is Sergio Danelli. I'm a, a developer at Education Services or Juniper Networks. Uh, I am going to be talking about using IPv4 with OSBF version 3. Uh, this is particularly useful for any uh, corporations out there that are running both IPv6 and IPv4 in their network and are interested in running a common IGP in their network. Um, uh, IP, OSBF version 3 has uh, some advantages over OSBF version 2, so um, it might be advantageous to uh, move over to OSBF version 3 for both uh, IPv4 and IPv6. Uh, and I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do it with uh, Juniper Networks routers. So here we have an example network uh, topology. Uh, we have R1, R2, R3, and R4. R1, R2, and R3 are running in area zero. R2 and R3 are ABRs um, with, with R4 running um, in area one. Um, so we currently have a uh, both OSPF version three and OSPF version two for, um, for IPv6 and IPv4 traffic. Um, so if we look at your, our configuration, we have both protocols configured on R1 um, in area zero. Um, we have both protocols configured in R2 for area one and area zero. Then we have both protocols configure on R3 uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to test connectivity uh, so from R1 to R4 we're going to uh, ping the loop back and uh, we can see that we can reach the loop back um, for both protocols. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, start moving OSBF version two configuration over to OSBF version three. Uh, the way that's implemented on the uh, Junos is through uh, something called Realms under OSPF version 3. Um, the different address families, you configure it with, uh, with Realms. Uh, so let's go ahead and move down to the OSPF version 3 Realm configuration. So let's see what we have for OSPF. What we're going to do is we're just going to grab this into our buffer and paste it under OSPF version 3. And then what we're going to do also is we're going to change the preference. So we're not clobbering the current OSPF version 2 running. Uh, the reason why we're doing this is because uh, we want to have a little more control over the trans uh, uh, over the uh, change to OSBF version three. Um, so why don't we uh, while we are doing the changes, why don't we have a ping going from here? I think it's in here already. Um, just a high count, and then we can see just to make sure there's no packet loss as we're doing the changes. Uh, we're going to put this over here so we can still see it. Okay, so R1's done. Let's move over to R2. Okay, we're going to 
gonna go ahead and grab this. Set the preference for internal routes. If you need to change the preference for external routes, there's also a configuration here to do it. Um, I don't need to do that right now because I don't have any external routes, but um, if you do need to do that on your network. Um, okay, let's see what we change. So all we did is we grabbed the OSPF version two IPv4 configuration and paste it over to a realm under the IPv4 unicast family for OSPF version 3. Um, so here we have it all ready to go. Just this last one. So Let's see, we haven't lost a ping yet. Let's make sure that everybody's up. Okay, we're gonna look at the inet.0 table. Okay, so we can see the routes in there. In R4, we see the loop bags, one, two, and three, and we see the uh, physical links. Um, and we know that it, they're not active since they don't have the, um, the asterisk next to the uh, to the protocol. Uh, let's see which routes are still active here. Actually, we, we can just look at the table inet.0. Now we can see that the regular OSPF routes are still active. So let's go ahead and do the changeover. So the way we're gonna do that is we're gonna um, stop this ping and then restart it. And then what we're going to do is we're going to change the preference back over to OSPF version 3 so it can take over. Um, so what we'll do is we'll just set the preference on, o, on regular OSPF version 2 to uh, 101. And then commit that. And do it on all the routers. Uh, I don't know if you guys can tell, but I'm toggling on the bottom between routers. Um, so if you could see my change in the host name and the change in the highlighted host name on the bottom. Okay, so now that we committed that, we haven't lost any pings. Uh, let's make sure we see what the active route is. Is. So we can see that OSPF version 3 is the active route on the INET.0 table now. Um, we will we'll still have regular OSPF running in there though. So um, let's look at that. So OSPF version 3 and it's running. Uh, with OSPF version 2. So what we can do now is we can just delete OSPF version 2 from your configuration. Commit that. Commit that. Commit that. Okay. So let's look at all the routers. Uh, let's make sure, let's change the preference also. 
Um, well, let's first look at the table and we can see that only one protocol is running. Uh, and let's go ahead and delete the preference and set it back to the default. Let's have this pin going still so we can see that. Let's just copy this so we don't have to type it out. Okay, and everybody's all good. Uh, so we still have reachability, as you can see, from R1 to R4. And uh, let's just make sure we also have reachability to our IPv6 locations. We shouldn't have caused any problems there, but just because we're paranoid about our network, we just want to make sure that we have reachability. I'll just set it to 10. All right, cool. So everyone's still reachable. And, um, and it looks like a nice, clean table. So now we have both protocols running. We have one protocol running, uh, both IPv4 and IPv6. So you don't have to, um, you can just have one simple IGP for both IPv4 and IPv6. Um, if you like more information about IPv4 and IPv6 and OSPF version 3, uh, you can go to our Juniper Tech Pubs and you can see more examples with the realms and multiple address families. And then there's uh, on the RFC, on the OSPF version 3 RFC, there's a section that um, goes over the differences between both um, both OSPF version 2 and OSPF version 3. Um, uh, it just has a nice summary of all the differences and the advantages of running OSPF version 3. Um, and I encourage you to look at those so you can see what why you would want to just run OSPF version 3 for both protocols. Um, thank you and uh, goodbye. Visit the Juniper Education Services website to learn more about courses. View our full range of classroom, online, and e-learning courses. Learning paths, industry segment and technology specific training paths. Juniper Networks Certification Program, the ultimate demonstration of your competence. And the training community, from forums to social media, join the discussion.